understand? It's exactly how I just explained it. From the symptoms I've found, I can tell you you've got congestive liver failure. Well, if you know what the hell is wrong with me, make the damn diagnosis so I can get out of here. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I need to look into why you even have congestive liver failure in the first place. What? Are you out of your mind? Not at all, I'm afraid. The primary cause for congestive liver failure is heart failure. Heart failure? Don't tell me. Oh, looks like you do have an idea about this. Uh, of course not. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> All right, pal. Let's get clear on one thing. I'm the doctor. Even if a patient's a grumpy old man like yourself, I still have to save his life. Um, I feel like his could be you, because he, he used, uh, yeah, I could put on his, I think. Okay. Heart failure. That's preposterous. Yes. Two years ago I did. But that has nothing to do with this. Arguing with you is making me feel faint. You quack. Feel faint, huh? Looks more like trouble breathing. And that's not even my fault, you old geezer. Rony. Make a note of Mr. Tillman's shortness of breath. If I really do get sick because of you, I'll sue your ass into the ground. Country. This country needs me. What's a little chest pain compared to the well-being of our country? I see. Chest pain, huh? Oh, what's that one? Ronnie, write that one down too. Thank Like pulling teeth from this guy. That's the swing legally, he can't do that. And. And legally, the swing part actually doesn't make sense because if a hospital makes a mistake that ends up hurting or killing someone, legally they can sue. So. These triple notes. The top of S1 and S2. And here's some additional heart rhythms. S3 and S4. Ronnie, jot this down. Understood. New symptom observed. S3. It's still 60 BPM, but they made it be triple notes. Sounds in his breathing. Discontinuous sounds. Ronnie, did you get that one? New symptom observed. Discontinuous sound. Is unusually low. Rowan, add that to his file. Understood. New symptom observed. Low blood pressure. Another thing, if you click on the it, it gives you a description. I'm not going to read all of them because. Thank you. 
this blood is abnormally high. Rowan, that's worth reporting. New symptom observed. High BNP Let's check this guy's heart. Understood. Beginning preparation. First, we think that one of is on the beacon. You call it until the Punjab period on the map. Sample. Speed up. Let's see what happens. Q reads are too deep. This isn't the activity of a normal heart. Romy, write that down somewhere. Understood. New symptom observed. Abnormal fever. symptoms until now. There seems to be an abnormality in the myocardium. Rony, get us approval for an x-ray. Yes. Beginning the approval process. Request approved. The x-ray examination is now available. The x-ray results are in. Please examine the images, Doctor. All right. Let's take a look at them. He's in my eye, that's not right. That's not what he thinks it is. I don't, that's not what he thinks it is. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'm just goofy. Well, so let's talk about your past. What happened to you two years ago? Okay. I'm that person, I'm with that person, because we're going to be able to get that. Well, then, I'm stumped. Guess I'll have to find a hit from the information I've got. Choice, but to check the symptoms again, the candidates and look for clues. Yep. Man, you've been using Colorado after doing that guy. I do not understand what you mean. Uh, never mind. Yeah, actually, it's a robot, Charlie. No, he's a computer, he doesn't. Computers don't have feelings. 
they, they don't amount to just all they are all them all is just yeah
haven't found out what's wrong with me yet. Uh, well, yeah. So what is it, son? What's wrong with you? Dilated cardiomyopathy. It's a disease where the heart muscle weakens. The myocarditis from two years ago is the likely cause of it. Uh, you're old. When can I get back to the office? There's a 50% chance you'll last five years. Ten years, maybe 30%. You need a heart transplant. Stop worrying about work. Don't be ridiculous. Listen up, son. This country's in a pretty tight spot. It won't last without the honest folk at the range guiding it. Please, I love this nation, and I need to help save it. <sighs> Unfortunately, saving your life will have to come first. Take my advice. Move out to the country and wait for a donor. Secretary Tillman has cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Can we do anything? Maybe beta blockers or angiotensin. You want someone who could die any second running the country? Uh, you may live, but his political career is over. We can't do anything? He's so passionate about his work. Medicine has its limits, but passion doesn't save lives. That's all. I'm going to get going. Oh, uh, wait. I need to talk to you about Joshua. Shouldn't you be talking to the kid's family? Isn't Joshua your son, Doctor? The boy hardly knows my face. Not much of a father. But Dr. Cunningham. It's over. Sometimes you need to learn when to <gasps> give up. <laughs> okay. After that, hilarious. <laughs> After that hilarious mission, <laughs> we'll be doing the masked prisoner. See you guys then.